electric current is the rate of flow of charge. We know that charge is the property of matter that allows it to experience a force in an electric field. We know that charge has the symbol Q and it is measured in coulombs. And we know that whenever we speak about the rate of something, what we are saying is how much of that per unit time. So from this definition, we get the formula for electric current, which tells us that current is the amount of charge that flows past a point in a circuit per unit of time. We know that current has the symbol I, and we know that it is measured in amperes, and we abbreviate that with an A. We know that in order for a current to flow in a circuit, we're obviously here talking about current meaning moving charge, there are two things that are required. The first is a power source. There needs to be something that is pushing or encouraging the charge to move through the conductors. The second thing is that a closed circuit is required. So two things required for current to flow, that being a power source and a closed circuit. We know that charge would normally follow a fixed path around that closed circuit and as soon as that circuit is interrupted or opened we know that we often would use a switch for that since the circuit is not closed current would not be able to flow anymore there are largely speaking there are two types of electric current those being alternating current that being current that changes direction as it moves through the circuit this is the type of current that we use or have in our households and there is also direct current, meaning current follows a fixed path around the circuit constantly. This is the kind of current that you would normally get from a battery, because a battery is always responsible for pushing electrons out one end and attracting them towards the other. So in the electric circuits that we deal with, we are going to be dealing with direct current. And then we will often talk about conventional current which is the original idea of what current was, was that it is the flow of positive charge. And we know that positive charge would always move from the positive terminal of the battery around the circuit as it is attracted towards the negative terminal of the battery. So conventional current is the flow of positive charge from positive to negative. We know that in reality, though, it is not positive charge that moves in a circuit. It is electrons that move through the circuit. We call that electron current, and it is the flow of electrons or negative charge, which would obviously flow from the negative terminal of the battery around the circuit towards the positive terminal of the battery, and that is called electron current. It's important to note here that the type of current, be it conventional or electron current, does not determine the operation of the circuit. The same rules still apply for current and voltage and resistance in that circuit. It is just the order in which it's followed that changes. A common question for a circuit like this, assuming it's closed, would be one that says that it is measured that 5 coulombs of charge passes a specific point in a circuit every 2 seconds, and you can be asked to calculate the current. We know that current is the rate of flow of charge. There are 5 coulombs passing a point in 2 seconds, which means that the current in that circuit is 2.5 amperes, basically saying 2.5 coulombs of charge pass a point every second.